So you can't undervolt your CPU and your laptop temperatures are out of control. When you're gaming or you're using a CPU intensive program, your temperatures are in the 90s all the way up to 100. Not a problem. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use throttle stop and in the FRVR section, show you how to adjust turbo ratio limits to reduce those temperatures anywhere between 10 to 20 degrees. But before I get to that, guys, uh, go on over to my homepage. If you are subscribed to the channel, please make certain that all notifications are on. Really will help me with the algorithm. Like the video, share the video, comment to the video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please con do, consider doing so. And then on my homepage, I have a whole bunch of optimization videos to get your laptop running nice and smoothly. Guys, I have added a new section to my videos. So in this video going ahead, in every description, there will be a link to buy me a coffee. I am a small YouTuber, as you can see, I've only got 3,000 subscribers. I only earn a revenue via YouTube ads. So I really would appreciate your support so I can keep on pushing our content and improve my content for that matter. So help a brother out. And then guys, lastly, if you don't have Turbo Asher limits available or undervolting available, um, I will put a link to full CPU optimization guide in step number one. It's going to show you how to unlock turbo ratio limits. And to those of you that do have undervolting available, show you how to unlock on undervolting as well. But let's get to turbo ratio limits. So back to throttle stop now. Guys, at this point in time, I'm going to assume that everybody has unlocked turbo ratio limits. So once you come into the FRVR section, these, this section over here is not grayed out and you're able to adjust your turbo ratio limits. So what we're going to do here is let me just explain so i've got a 10 200 h so my cpu only goes up to 41 4.1 gigahertz but if you've got a 12 or 13th generation or even the 11th generation cpu you might find that your turbo ratio has got up to 47 or 50 whatever the number is that means that your cpu technically over one core can go up to 5 gigahertz or 4.7 gigahertz and then over two cores of it and over three cores this number is going to come down but the problem is in laptops um, there's always thermal throttling so no matter how high your ratios go up those are wasted clock cycles because the temperature is so high that your cpu throttles down so that's why what we're going to do is we're going to close off the frvr section we're going to open up ts bench and in ts bench we're just going to run a short little test size 120m and then hit start. So I don't thermal throttle because I've undervolted my CPU. But you might find that your FID column, your turbo ratio limit start off at 50. But as soon as you put, start putting load on your CPU, your FID column, let's say it comes down to 38 and it sits at 38. It doesn't drop at 38 anymore. That means that your CPU is throttling at 3.8 gigahertz. So now what you're going to do is you're going to come back into the FRVR section and we're going to set turbo ratio limits to one less than where your FID column uh, went down to. So in my example, I said 38 FID. So that means we're going to adjust turbo ratio limits to 37. And hit apply, press OK. And now once you come back into TS Bench and you start that test again, You'll notice that your, your FID column is going to be stable. It's going to be sitting at 37. It's not going to be going down and your temperatures are going to be a lot lower. So let me use a different example here quickly. So in FRVR, let's say your turbo ratio limits go up to 50. But once you start this TS bench test, it goes down to three, uh, th 36 FID. That means that you're going to have to adjust turbo ratio limits to 35. So you're going to come into FRVR and you're going to adjust to ratios to 35 and you're going to hit apply. And now remember your FID column was dropping down to 36, but now it, when, once you put it under load, it's going to boost up to 35 and you're going to notice a massive reduction in temperatures. And guys, it's that simple. That's how you use turbo ratio limits to reduce your temperatures. So I've done a lot of videos where I showed people how to unlock under voltage. But in, uh, in Intel, if you've got a 10300H CPU and up, undervolting is not enough. And you use the same principle that I showed you now. After you've undervolted, you adjust your turbo ratio limits to just below the point where your, your CPU throttles and you're going to notice reduction in temperatures to your heart's content. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, 
please hit me up in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. And if you're still watching and you haven't subscribed as of yet, now's the time to do so. It's Sunday. Have a good one.